Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. Now on the last video we took a look on how to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 which is what I've got right over here on an external SSD with all the features of Bootcamp but on an external SSD. Now if you want to check that out I will leave a link right over here and some links also down below. But today I want to do a short video just showing you the best way that I'm aware of upgrading Windows 10 to Windows 11 on our Mac regardless if it is on an external SSD or on the internal SSD. But before we begin I'm using a Mac Mini late 2018 and I'm also using the Sabrent 2 terabyte SSD externally with Windows 11 installation but I also use the Sabrent 8 terabytes which in my opinion is a great investment Investment. depending on your needs you might need four or only two but in my opinion and I've shared this in the past this kind of investment is smarter than investing on the internal SSD because when one year or two years I sell my Mac the internal storage will go but I will keep my external investment in terms of speeds I'm getting equal or superior than the interior but I will leave some links down below and some links right over here so that you can check that out. Now in terms of the installation it's the fastest part of this video. You will need to download the tool that I will leave a link down below. Once you download that tool just install it and you will have two options. In my particular case I did download from the Microsoft website the Windows 11 ISO but using the tool you will have the option to use the ISO that you already downloaded or to download using the tool. So this is your option. Once you select that, if you select download, it will take more time, of course. If you select the ISO that you already have on your machine, then it will be faster. So once the app starts, it will do everything for you. It will start downloading files, it will start to prepare everything, it will start to install Windows 11, and this will require some time, and of course will depend on the SSD that you are using, if it's internal, if it's external, if it's external then how fast it is. I've got really fast SSD right over here so it will take less time but have in mind that it will be possible with any SSD, you probably just need to wait more time. Then we will have our Windows 11 ready to start using on our Mac. So no command lines, no messes, just one app which is really really great. So a huge thumbs up for the developer of this app and once again I will leave the link down below. Guys, this is it. This is the easiest and fastest and best way that I'm aware of of upgrading Windows 10 to Windows 11 on a Mac at this moment. That being said, if the video was helpful in some way don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one.